e-bikes are everywhere these days, so yesterday's debate on whether it's cheating to ride a pedal-assisted bicycle no longer applies. But if it still did, there'd be no doubt that a conversion kit like the Pikaboost 2 would be the very definition of cheating in the eyes of a passionate traditional cyclist. Before e-bikes became a fixture on city streets all over the world, which could be timed with the developments and social restrictions of the 2020 international health crisis, they were considered a cheater's option. That's how riders of conventional pedal bicycles would see them, at the very least. The need for a safer, more time-efficient, and less physically demanding means of transport for the daily commute pushed e-bikes to the top of preferences for many city dwellers. Like with every other new invention turned mainstream, initial misconceptions or misgivings were soon forgotten. Today, an e-bike is a lot of things, but cheating is perhaps not among them, especially if you consider those particularly lightweight units that can easily run without motor assistance. That said, e-bikes are still an investment despite continuously decreasing prices. Conversion kits are a cheaper alternative, a sort of best of both worlds kind of thing, while offering ease of use and a more compact form factor. But they're not exactly safe, or at the very least, not as safe as buying a bike from a certified, reputable OEM, and it's tricky to find the right match. The Pikaboost 2 aims to solve all these problems. It's a conversion kit but one that comes with integrated safety features and patented tech, from a reputable maker, and with compatibility with most bicycles out there, including MTBs, city bikes, and hybrids. If the name rings a bell, that must be because this is the second Pikaboost product to date. Maker Livall, which has established itself as a leader on the niche of safety gear, launched the first Pika Boost a couple of years ago. As its name says, this is the second iteration, and it boasts a powerful motor, so improved range and reliability, as well as finer-tuned features. Like its predecessor, the Pika Boost 2 also got its launch on crowdfunding, breaking records while the campaign was live. The first units for the first backers are scheduled to go out for delivery starting in mid-September, so it's only a matter of days before we start seeing them on the streets. The Pikaboost 2 aims to redefine the e-bike experience but only on the condition that you don't own an e-bike. This might seem like a paradox, but only until you hear that it's a conversion kit that turns any conventional bicycle into a pedal-assisted one. Whereas other kits are difficult to install or entail a mix-and-match approach with varying degrees of success depending on the type of bicycle you ride, the Pika Boost 2 is built to match any bike. Installation takes less than a minute and consists of connecting the motorized module to the seat post and onto the rear wheel. Since the module moves a small wheel that in turn moves your rear wheel, there's no need for complicated assemblies or getting yourself tangled in connecting cables. The module integrates a powerful motor that delivers 250 watt of continuous power but will peak at 500 watt, the controller, and a 158 watt hour lithium ion battery, upgradable to a 220 watt hour one. With the former, Livall promises up to 43 miles of range on a single 3 hour charge, and up to 59 miles with the latter, depending on riding mode. The battery is swappable, so carrying an extra one in a backpack would be a good idea on longer runs. Speaking of riding modes, the Pika Boost 2 offers four in total, together with auto-adjusting motor assistance. In Eco Mode, you only get assistance when climbing, Cruise Mode maintains your speed even if you stop pedaling, while Power Assist Mode will allow you to enjoy longer rides with less effort, whatever that means. Workout Mode puts resistance on the rear wheel, so you will have to pedal harder and thus put in a harder workout. So much for cheating, right? The Pika Boost weighs only 6.6 .6 pounds and integrates a shock-absorbing spring design so that it won't rattle or come loose during rides on rougher terrains. The four screws on the seat post are touted as anti-theft because they require a unique Allen wrench that comes with the kit. The tire design on the motorized wheel is V-shaped, ensuring maximum traction even if the bike's rear wheel is wet or muddy. The module has integrated safety features, such as an e-brake that will cut off the motor when you brake the bike. There's also fall detection, which cuts off the motor if you title the bike to more than 30 degrees and slip detection, which cut assistance if the rear wheel loses traction. The integrated braking light adds an extra layer of safety, which can be further enhanced by pairing the module with the Livall Smart Helmet through the app. This way, you get both braking lights and turning lights on the helmet. Livall promises improved performance compared to the predecessor as well. Maximum speed on motor assistance is 20 miles per hour, which is far more than what you'll get with a legal e-bike in EU countries, where top speed is capped at 15.5 miles per hour. 
Reagan braking generates approximately 100 Vat of power at speeds of 15.5 miles per hour, which makes this conversion kit slightly more sustainable than e-bikes too. With a MSRP set at $568, the Pika Boost 2 strives to make a valid argument in favor of conversion kits.